Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. We're looking at question eight on the 2017 Cayley paper. Each of three cards is labeled with three numbers. Which of the following groups of three cards has the properties that the first and second cards have exactly one number in common, the first and third cards have exactly one number in common, and the second and third cards have exactly one number in common? Okay. So each pair of cards has exactly one number in common. Well, let's copy down our possible answers. You know, A, B, C, D, and E. And we're just going to analyze each one and say, well, gee, how many numbers in common do the pairs of cards have? That's what we'd have to do with this question. We just go through it option by option. Some things will get eliminated, but only one will satisfy the properties. Because if you read the uh, instructions to the contest carefully, they say there's only one possible answer for each one. So 135, 367, 246. Oh, sorry, 367, my mistake. One four seven two four two three four. I think there was a five in the next one. Two four five. Two three four two five seven. One two four, and one four seven here. Uh, two, four, two, three, four, two, five, seven again. So I'm noticing there are repeats. One, three, five, one, four, seven, two, three, five. Okay, just give it another quick once over. Everything looks good. Okay. So we've copied it, and I mean, you don't have to actually copy it because they, they give you a booklet, so you could just be scribbling in the booklet. But let's see, what numbers do the first pairs have in common? Well, these just have three in common. Well, these two just have four in common. And these ones just have two in common. These ones just have four in common, and these just have one in common. Okay, nothing's been eliminated so far. Let's take a look at uh, the first and the third. So one, three, five, two, four, six. Well, these guys have nothing in common. So A is out, right? Each one needs, so first and second cards have one number in common. First and thirds have one co number in common. And second and third have one number in common. A is out, fails. Um, we still have four and four in common here. So that's fine. Now C has two, four. And 2 and 4, so C's out because that's more than one number in common. Looking like B might be the winner here. Uh, D has 1, 4, 7, uh, so these both have 7 in common. And E, well, both cards, the first and third, have two numbers in common, the 3 and the 5. So our answer is either B or D. And we'll use, I guess, the faint yellow. So now we need to compare second and third cards. Well, B sadly fails having both 2 and 4. So B is out, and, and D, let's just double check, only 2 and 2 are in common. So D is going to be our answer. Okay, and we'll flip the page in anticipation of our next question, which is going to be question number 9, and I will see you for that one in the next video.